podcasting from a town called Manalapan, New Jersey. This is That Oneness Guy, a podcast covering the many aspects and elements that embody oneness. I am your host, Danny Rongo. As an author, playwright, singer, songwriter, and activist, I am spreading my message of oneness basically to anyone who will listen. So thank you. First, as always, for those who are not aware, my book and the book that these podcasts derive from, which is I Am God and So Are You, My Friend, A Common Man's Guide to Oneness, is available everywhere. With thanks to my publisher, Balboa Press, which is a division of the world leader in spirituality publications, Hay House Incorporated. It comes in a hardcover, paperback, and ebook formats and is now available globally via all of your major retailers like Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, etc. Or visit the website for my book, which is www.iamgodbook.com. So, I'd first like to introduce you to the track you just heard for today's introduction. That was a song featured on my CD, One Bass, One Voice, Simply One Song. It's a song called Smoke and Mirrors. It's one of my favorite tracks because I, you know, like I get to unleash some serious bassage in it. So, check it out. Um, this and all of my music can be found either on my website, dannyrongo.com, iTunes, Amazon, or any of your favorite downloading sites. I will also close out this episode with another section of that song. So if you like it, please stay tuned because I got a little more coming at the end of this episode. So let's get back to podcasting. You're listening to episode number 11. Oneness asks, are your beliefs your own or what you were taught? And as we move along here in season number two of these podcast episodes, I want to continue along the same lines that I initiated when I started this season, and that is to go a little deeper, to delve into the ideology of oneness, if you may, because at this point, folks, of the conversation, there's a distinct need to. And you sense that from the first two episodes of this season that started off with episode number nine, which was called Let's Address the Blasphemous Elephant in the Room. Now, that title, which happens to be the very first chapter in the book, always raises an eyebrow or two. And then our last and most recent episode, which was episode number 10, Religion, Spirituality, Where Does Oneness Fit In? Which is where I really cut to the chase especially as it pertains to my own personal journey into oneness. So with this episode, oneness asks you, are your beliefs your own or what you were taught? Now, it's the perfect follow-up to the religion versus spirituality conversation as it begs us to ask ourselves that question. I'm sure... If I asked you face-to-face right now, you would say that your beliefs are your own. And they may be, in fact. Um, But what I found out is that if you really take an extra moment to consider the question, you might come to a different conclusion. For instance, it's easier when I use myself as an example. So like I said in the last episode, I was raised a Catholic. It's what my parents practiced and believed in, and it's what they shared with their children. So I can safely and honestly say that I was taught that. And it wasn't until later on in my life when I started to develop what would become my own spirituality that I drifted away in part from the Catholic Church. But when I take into consideration the multitude of beliefs and values that were instilled upon me as a child, how do I really know which ones were my own? And if you think about it, it's what most parents and in turn schools teach us, right? That we need to be good, that we need to do well in school, especially if you want to get anywhere in life. Or if you're an Italian like me, that any dish becomes great with olive oil and garlic. And, to take it further, if you're an Italian from New Jersey, 
then in most cases, your dad made sure that you were a Yankees fan. So do you get what I'm saying here? I want you to think about it. How much of who and what we became is just a passing of the guard, per se, from our parents? We are most definitely a product of who we were born to and where. Now, don't get me wrong. You know, it's not a bad thing. I just think that we need to recognize that for what it is, especially from an emotional perspective. I mean, how we react to many of the circumstances that we face in life is a direct correlation to how our parents would have reacted, right? And it's not until we get further along in our journey that we begin to change, or do we? Some people never change. And again, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just making an observation here. So now, as it pertains to oneness, the fact that we're connected to one and all, are you open to that concept? Or do you still hear your mother or father's words in your head telling you differently? You know, maybe it wasn't in a harmful or a mean way, But I know that generation very well, and times were different. Like, maybe you haven't reached a point yet in your personal journey where oneness resonates with you and makes sense with you. And hey, that's okay. Like I've preached all throughout these podcast episodes and throughout my book, there is no right or wrong way to live your life. Life just is. I just thought at this stage of the conversation, it's important to challenge you by asking you that question. Are your beliefs your own or what you were taught? Now, I know it got me thinking many years ago, and honestly, it still adds for potential uncomfortable conversations, especially if you've moved away from some of the beliefs your parents may have instilled upon you, like... If your father, for all intents and purposes, is a staunch Republican and you sit at the Thanksgiving table and strike up a conversation about the democratic way of life and the new left, you can see where that might lead, right? Now, that's just one example, but I'm sure you can think of many more. Or how about if you're a parent, have you placed your beliefs and values upon your child or children? Again, I'm not saying it's a bad thing at all. I just want us all to realize that we, mostly as parents, impart what we've been told down to our children. And in most cases, they do the same with their children. And so then the cycle continues. But this is a podcast about oneness. And I am that oneness guy. So I have to tie this all together in those confines, all right? So here it goes. Do you not believe that we are all one because your parents didn't? Do you believe that you cannot be uttered in the same breath as God because your parents would never consider it? Now, be honest. Are those beliefs yours Or are you just carrying them down from generation to generation? All right. If you can honestly say that those are your beliefs, hey, that's cool. I understand. But if you hesitated for even just a moment, keep thinking about it. Are you living your life through your own beliefs and values or are they your parents? The objective here again is to challenge you. Because I know that so many of us continue to live our lives from the premise of what our parents told us. Again, that it's not necessarily a bad thing at all. I just want to initiate the conversation and get you to think about it. And to use myself as an example again, my parents are the sole reason why I advocate for so many causes because they taught me to care for my fellow human being. They taught me to be kind to one and all. And that laid the perfect foundation for me to come to and find oneness. 
And now my dad was and still is an incredible role model for me, especially when it comes to loving a wife. His love for my mom will be forever etched in my mind. And I know that's why I love Andrea the way that I do. So my point is that, like you, I learned many great and valuable lessons from my parents that I will always carry with me. But when it came to religion versus spirituality, that's where we, that's why, that's where we differ, meaning me and my parents, okay? They're old school. I get it. And if you want to hear exactly how and when I distance myself from their religious beliefs, just re-listen to the last episode, which is episode number 10, Religion versus Spirituality, Where Does Oneness Fit In? And getting back to those uncomfortable conversations, now my mom has since passed, but I still have them with my dad. I mean, he gets my point, okay? He understands what oneness is, but he doesn't quite grasp the concept of being one with God. And that seems to be the biggest hurdle for those of that generation. They can get behind being one with each other, but not one with God. And therein lies that great irony that I've always spoke about. That being one with everyone and everything absolutely includes God. How could it not? And I'm sure you can understand why religions don't want you to believe that, right? Because it doesn't help their bottom line. And for my devout Catholics, I've stated many direct quotes from the Bible, including when Jesus said, haven't I said even you are gods? So how do you translate that? What part of that aren't you getting? You see, we as kids were told the very opposite, that we are not and could never be one with God. What a shame, man. Like to me, that's as bad as the Santa Claus lie, if you ask me. And actually worse. At least we were able to come to terms at some point with Santa. But not being one with God? Again, that's just a shame. We're losing so many years of our lives without the comfort of knowing that I am that I am. And I am God. And so are you, my friends. I have the comfort of knowing that. And it is my sincere hopes that if you don't already, then someday soon you will. So, thank you again for listening to the podcast I'm calling That Oneness Guy. This has been episode number 11. Oneness asks, are your beliefs your own or what you were taught? If you like what you've been listening to, Please take a moment to subscribe to this feed either on my website, dannyarango.com, at iTunes, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Spotify, Stitcher, or at my podcast website, which is courtesy of Buzzsprout, and that's just uh, buzzsprout.com, and just search for that oneness guy. And know that as an extra bonus, this podcast has now been added to all of your smart home devices. So all you need to say is either, hey, Alexa, or hey, Siri, play that oneness guy to listen anywhere in your homes. And please follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook so you can stay in touch with all things oneness. And especially my book, I Am God, and So Are You, My Friend, A Common Man's Guide to Oneness, which, as I mentioned earlier, is now available everywhere. And please check out the website for my book, again, which can be found at uh, IamGodBook.com. It's a really cool interactive site. It's got plenty of photos, videos, a blog that you can be part of too. So you just need to add your email and you can join in on the conversation. I've been posting my blogs usually once or twice a week. So there's always something new for you to check out. And finally, if you live in New Jersey, I have a book signing event coming up which is going to be Saturday, April 20th at the Barnes & Noble store on Route 18 in East Brunswick. And that is going to be at 2 p.m. Again, 
uh, book signing event coming up on Saturday, April 20th at the Barnes & Noble on Route 18 in East Brunswick, and that's at 2 p.m. So again, folks, as always, my name is Danny Rongo. Please look for my next show. And until then, I send you, as always, peace, love, light, and continued oneness. Namaste. You wonder